Would you ever want to learn to wood carve? And before you start, maybe you'd want to think about why you would want to wood carve. Well, I mean, think about it. Even if you were trying to find a hobby and wood carving might not have been your first choice. Well, first of all, let's look at some of the benefits of carving. So, why do we want to learn to carve? What possibly could carving do that maybe something else might not? Well, carving can be a hobby, like any other hobby, but carving can also make you money. So that's one good reason you can want to get into wood carving. Okay, Maybe sometimes you're just bored after work and you have free time to burn outside of your job, and it's always good to have something else to do to keep you occupied. That's where wood carving comes in. I mean, it's a known fact that people who wood carve, or do any hobby for that matter, actually improve their mental health and their well-being. Most wood carvers I know find it hard to get depressed over everyday things and seem to handle stress a lot better than somebody who doesn't have a hobby. You do it for you and you alone. You spend your free time enjoying yourself and relaxing and creating something. Sometimes that's all you need to have a much more positive attitude and live a happier life. If you don't have a hobby that you truly like, life can get pretty boring and lead to unhealthy habits, sometimes even sickness and depression. So hobbies like wood carving are really good for you. Now let's take chainsaw carving for instance. That actually has physical activity. Right? So not only is it fun, but it can also get you in great shape or at least keep you healthy because of all the moving and lifting that you have to do. Plus, let's face it, chainsaw carving is a blast. And if you're trying to stay active just for your health, and you do something that's enjoyable that you really like, chances are you won't quit doing it, and eventually you will get healthier and reach your goals that way also. What's great about wood carving is it helps you stay focused on what you're doing. And it takes you away from all the thoughts that stress you out. I find when I do it that it keeps me in the moment. I'm not thinking about the past or worrying about the future. Plus it also makes you more productive. So you're not just wasting your time watching TV or creating other bad habits. You also feel a sense of accomplishment when you're done. So wood carving helps you to explore yourself and your talents and abilities also. And the truth is, most of us don't even know what we're capable of until we actually try. Wood carving challenges you to improve yourself. It pushes you to do better each time you start another project. It can make you more interesting to other people and make them look at you different sometimes. You do something that they're impressed by and they want to talk to you about it and they're very interested in how you learned how to do such a cool thing. And let's not forget, carbon can give you extra income. I know very few people who get proficient at it that eventually don't get asked by other people to sell some of their work to them or actually have something made for them. So most carvers that get fairly decent always end up making extra income. So there you go. There are a few reasons why I think you should learn the wood carve. Up to you if you want to or not. But if you want to know more about carving or how to learn how to wood carve, then subscribe to this channel. And start your new journey on learning how to wood carve. So now that we've covered some of the benefits of wood carving, how do we get started? Well, firstly, you could subscribe to this channel, and that's a good start. And then we have to start collecting learning materials. Now, there's plenty of places online to collect good learning materials about wood carving, and there's many, many channels on YouTube here that teach how to wood carve. First of all, I recommend getting a mentor. 
whether you choose this channel or combine many different channels, which is what a lot of carvers do. We all learn from each other. There are many great channels out there to choose from. Next, use reference when you wood carve after taking some lessons. There's plenty of reference books here. I'll put links in the description for everything that I list here if you'd like to go check them out for yourself. Also, take a lot of pictures. I find myself going to the store whenever I'm in the hardware store or anywhere I see a nice statue or something that I think I could carve. I'll snap photos of it. That gives me extra reference. Another good tip is learn how to draw. I can recommend a few drawing programs here in the description for you. There's plenty out there. It always helps if you know how to draw. If you can't draw, get a projector. Here are a few examples on Amazon of projectors. I use a projector now and then. I like to draw myself though and actually teach a little bit on drawing. But if not, here you go. Here's some projectors. Learn to paint and stain. Again, there's plenty of programs that can teach you that. Again, I'll put a link in the description. Another thing you can do is buy patterns. If you don't want to learn how to draw, you don't have a projector, it's easy to buy patterns. Plenty of places out there you can do that. Here are some examples. Also, you can buy videos. There's a lot of great carving videos out there. There's also books. Okay. Plenty of material out there for learning. Then you could collect other people's carvings as well. They're sold everywhere on people's sites, on eBay, sometimes even in the marketplaces in your area, flea markets and such. It's always good to have a carving right in front of you and you can get the feel for it and see the lines up close. And it's great to see other people's work and support other carvers. Now the big thing about wood carving is you need to get the right tools. I'll provide some links here for some of the tools that I use. You can collect them one at a time or you can go all out and get a whole bunch of them. It's totally up to you and every individual is different. Depends on what type of carving you want to do. Two of the last things I want to mention is you definitely are going to need a place to do it. You're going to need to make some room in a shed, even a small room, and then eventually have a place to sell your work. Flea markets, online, a website. And that's all you really need. So hopefully this video helped you and gave you some ideas. And I hope I inspired you to wood carve. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can see more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.